I'm Wayne from Talk Cars. We normally talk about getting the most miles per gallon, but in this video, we're gonna talk about your miles per gallon and how to calculate your miles per gallon. Stay tuned because at the end, we're gonna show you a really easy way of working out your miles per gallon and keeping track of it. Now, why would you actually want to know your miles per gallon? Well, it tells you a lot about what's going on in the engine and with the car as a whole. Whenever there's a dip in your miles per gallon, it normally indicates there's a problem. And in my case, it was often a low tire pressure somewhere that was causing the drop in miles per gallon. But in other situations, it's been down to poor quality fuel that I've used or just the fact that the engine desperately needed a service. So just monitoring your miles per gallon can actually keep tabs on the condition of your car. And it's also good for your pocket. If you're conscious of how much fuel you're using, you can keep tabs on your driving style and the types of journeys you make and really stretch out your fuel as far as possible. You do wanna save some fuel for the weekend, so driving economically weekdays is a practical proposition. Most modern cars have actually got a trip computer on the dashboard that keeps track of your miles per gallon, and that is a very useful tool. But often that's not accurate. If you've added a piggyback tuning device or a tuning box, the car is often working from a full set of numbers, so it's usually underestimating the amount of fuel used. So this method to calculate your fuel is foolproof and it will work for every type of car and every type of vehicle. We're aiming particularly at our UK users because we fill up in litres and not gallons, but in other regions of the world, the principles still apply. You just don't have to convert your litres into gallons before you do the final calculation. So the first thing is you fill your car up to the the brim so when the fuel pump shuts off automatically don't put more in just accept that as your tank being completely full that's your marker for next time for when you come along to um, fill up again now reset the trip computer so your mileage is showing zero and just drive around on that tank of fuel and the more fuel you use the more accurate this will be so make sure you get down to the red region and fill up the car again but note the amount of miles you've traveled and record the number of liters of fuel that you've put into your car. Now you've got the essential components to calculate your MPG. So you need to convert the amount of liters into gallons. That's done simply by multiplying by 0.21997 and that'll give you the number of gallons you've got. You take the miles you've driven, you divide it by the number of gallons of fuel you've used and you've got your miles per gallon figure. So what's the easy way of calculating your MPG? Well, we've got a calculator on our site. There's a link below in the description if you wanna follow that. And it'll actually remember your last few fill-ups if you want it to. So it'll give you an idea on how you're doing with your fuel economy. And most of our users have actually experienced better fuel economy just using it a few times. And that calculator, you simply just plug in the numbers. Now, if you can't remember the amount of liters but you can remember the price per litre and the cost of your fill up. They're things that are typically on your receipt. You can still use our calculator. It will do the maths for you and work out how many gallons you've used from just those two figures. And that's it, it's as simple as that. So now everyone can keep track of their miles per gallon, drive really economically on those boring journeys and save all that fuel for the weekend when we wanna have some fun with our vehicles. So we really hope this video has been useful to you. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. Be sure to visit our site and read the many articles we've got that will help you improve your performance of your car and your fuel economy. So don't forget to stay tuned to Talk Cars.